Okay, so I've been sitting here for like a hot minute trying to think of like if, if there's a spell to help me just calm the fuck down because I'm so fucking excited that this game is finally here. Um, also, hello from Big Rob. This might be a bit of a change. We're going to see how this goes. Let me know if you enjoy it. Let me know if you don't. It's going to be super cool. Uh, anyway, we are... I'm, I'm, Guys, I'm so excited to finally jump into this. I've been waiting. It's like... Well, we've been waiting for months. It's been absolutely crazy. There's been a whole lot of like delays and just but anyway it's finally here we finally get to enjoy this we finally get to experience it we get to jump into a world that we have loved since you know we were kids um i mean for me it's been like what 20 i'm not gonna say the rest of that because i'm not gonna reveal my age i'm still young what do you go away um but yeah another disclaimer we are gonna make yes there has been controversy around this game no we are not going to be discussing that controversy uh, what we are going to be doing in this is we are going to be enjoying the world of Harry Potter. We're going to be enjoying the world, the, the wizarding world as a whole. We are going to be enjoying this brand new setting of Hogwarts that we have been given. We're going to explore this as much as we possibly can. And we're just really going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, that is the aim here. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I I, I'm, I hope you guys share in my excitement because I am just, I'm, I'm so excited. So excited for this. So with that, let's go straight into uh harry potter wizarding world hogwarts that thing hogwarts legacy onwards okay greetings from small rob this time uh like i said guys we're gonna try this format just let me know if you really enjoy it if it's really bugging you uh i just thought it'd be really cool to just mix things up a little bit see how it goes as you can see before us we have our letter to hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry it's absolute glorious i have been waiting a huge amount of years for this um it didn't come i'm glad to see that hogwarts has retroactively become much uh like adaptive to the times and they've gone with a sort of email invitation rather than a post office invitation especially for south africans because our post office is well in shambles so yeah that's probably why i never got my letter in the first place um and that's my excuse and i'm sticking with it so <clears throat> we need to get our our best um professor weasley voice i've decided that professor weasley is kind of like an old crony um that's that's the kind of vibe we're going with. so <clears throat> we are pleased to inform you that you i don't know what crony speaks like that um and by when i say crony i mean like the hook nose witches that we know from like disney movies and stuff um okay so let's try this again <clears> hmm <throat> We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna ditch that. That's not working. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So yeah, awesome. We finally got a letter. That's what I'm saying. That's that's and we get to create our character oh my gosh okay cool so i hope you guys are locked in for the next like three hours of character creation because that's that's gonna happen okay uh what are we going to wow we really do have a wide selection we really do uh so i did link my harry potter fan club account to the game so it's kind of i don't know if it's going to auto sort me into the house i think that's the idea so we need to find someone who as basic bitch as this might sound, is going to fit into Gryffindor or kind of have that aesthetic, right? Uh, okay, so I'm, I am I like the Chad. The Chad is su su suspiciously wrong. Wait, who oh, no. knows? Why Chad? Okay, all right. I'll deal with that later. Um, remember, this is also the 1800s. So yeah, okay, let's... I th actually, I'm quite happy with that. That looks... Face shape. Right. Uh, glasses. Hello? We're not doing those glasses because, well, we all know why. Um, I mean, we've got the McGonagall glasses, which is like a McGonagall Dumbledore type of vibe. Yeah, I like it. Cool, let's do it. 
Awesome. Um, let's see. What kind of hairstyle are we going to go for? Huh. Um, perhaps? Maybe? I don't know if cornrows are really going to work out. I'm not too sure. That's a little 70s. I mean, I know it's the 1800s and all, but... Uh, that's pretty dapper, actually. It's quite cool. I like that. I like it. Why am I so freaky? Can I... Did, did I maybe miss something here? Presets. Cool. Okay, no, I don't think we... Okay, I think we're still getting... Right. Uh, what other choices do we have here? We could always go for... Oh, my word, that is fabulous. I would please like to know what conditioner this man uses. Of, of course, he's me. So, duh. Obviously. Uh, let's very Harry Potter. Very, like, Daniel Radcliffe. So, I think we're going to give that one a... Um... I don't know if we can pull this off, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm that cool. No, actually, 100% not that cool. Yeah, definitely not cool enough. So, we're, we're not we're not even going to try. We're just going to look like damn... We do have the button. That is an option. But uh, I think we're going to go for... We're going to go for Dapper. That's cool. I like it. Hair color fits pretty well, I think. Yeah. Well, oh, awesome. Complexion. Uh, freckles and moles. Maybe turn it down a smidge. I like a little bit of freckles. It's cool, but I mean, just I mean, like on like you can see that there's no real freckles going on. So I'm gonna do that. Scarring. I mean, scarring is cool and all, but like the idea for the character I want to create, the scarring is gonna be a little bit too obvious. So. We're going to leave the scarring. Eyebrows. Again. I'm actually quite... I think this preset is pretty freaking great. This preset kind of nails it, like, on the head. Glasses aside. Although I do want a pair of that. That's going to be cool. Uh, ooh, voice work. This is so... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I've never said that in my life. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Right. Cool. Awesome. Love that. Uh that was quite something. Yeah. Yeah. Are we gonna are we gonna do high pitch? I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh, we're not gonna do high pitch, no. I'm eager to get a few cobwebs and some dust. That was quite something. Oh no 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 no. All that. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I don't know, that's like, it's like robotic demonic, you know? I think we're going to do normal. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing or like middle, middle, about. sorry. Is, is it? I must name my character. Oh no, I hadn't given this any thought. Name my character. Uh, What are we going to name the character? I mean, we could be super basic and like call it Rob. Uh, no, but we're not going to do that. We're gonna name it. Oh, we're gonna name him something cool, like what? Like okay, what are we gonna name this? Hmm. We need to. We need to think. We need to, we need to think smart, right? Because this is gonna follow us forever. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, first name. What have we got? We got. This is really tripping me up. Okay. So after years of deliberation, I've been here for literally years, just by the way, um, after some intense deliberation with myself, me, myself and I, uh, we have all come to the same conclusion, and we're actually going to use a nickname that uh, we were given throughout school. Um, and it's 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 a really distinguished name, um, and it's huge ass. It's it's distinguished. It's classy. It's um, you know, it's a very good just describing term, really, for for myself. So 
that's 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 where we're gonna that's that's where we're at uh obviously we're gonna be wizard um because well i don't know i would like to i would you know i've been dreaming of this for a long time and i would like to represent myself and and sort of my identity as much as possible in this in this playthrough um obviously with some embellishments here and there you'll see because i'm not a total raving psychopath not to give too much away Oh my god, it's finally here! Ah, it appears uh, we are sorry. almost ready to that was depart. weird noise. Strange. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing Dude, the this spell game is work. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to it's be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Okay. Uh, sir. <laughs> Eleazar. George. Eleazar. Okay, Admiral interesting. The cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vague Evidently. destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. posh. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. So descriptive. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Ages Great. since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old... Where is everyone else, though? Oh, he's being super dodge. He being hella sus. See, the best part is, it could be Thestrals, it's probably Thestrals that are pulling that, that, um, that cart, or the wagon, sorry. Okay. Um, could be Thestrals pulling, or it is Thestrals pulling the, the wagon, but, but, it could also just be a glitch, and you'll never know. It's amazing. I love it. Greatest game ever. 10 out of 10. As you can see, I'm struggling to contain my excitement for you. Uh, I mean, it's been all of two minutes and Avalanche has already blown my friggin' mind. Oh. It's so good. We have been waiting for this for such a long time. Um, it's just... It's it's so, like, surreal to finally see this here. And, and just to finally, like... Also have something new in the IP. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? I'd rather A not new say. Student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None yeah, of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, oh, you couldn't exactly. have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is proud He's clearly family. looking for a tip. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Aye, government official. Makes total sense. Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion? I Truth or comedy cook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. A Ragnarok is a great threat, sir. So. colleagues at the ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And... It was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what oh, no, the shame. ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. Interesting. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. Yes. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. Mm, that's it why looks he's like yeah. goblin metal. 
That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Well, I'm the one who got admitted into fifth year straight away, so yeah. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh shit! I mean, oh yeah, they all survived. Great. And that's what you get for working for the ministry. Oh man, that is so cool. Because he witnessed death, he could now see the death. Oh, that's cool. I oh, know, not the facial. Shame. once I was just gonna say wild are you alright oh my gosh the subtitle you actually hurt. comes up with my distinguished Part nickname take this it's Wigan World potion that stuff will write you in a second he said Wigan World where is no, that's the one. Press the down button. Yes, we are playing on PC indeed. Um, but we are actually playing with a controller. As it seems to be the common consensus that the game is kind of like set up for controller. Oh, George. I can't believe he What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Uh, but that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever huh. touches it to a specific place. Okay. Oh, yeah, we know about port key. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. Oh, I would. would I? But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, it's definitely not Baldi. Because he hasn't been like born yet, if I remember correctly. If I remember my my Hogwarts history wall. Who was he? Actually, I don't remember. Interesting. Uh, right. Okay. Is there anything interesting in this cave? It doesn't seem like it. Man, I cannot get over how pretty this game is. This is just like mind blown. He take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands, sir. Those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. I, yeah, I mean, Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason, hmm. and I believe that she and now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. He's awfully chill about his if wife. If you're sure you're death. all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. I'm loving it. I will say I'm actually super excited about the mind your step like 1800 setting and the because the aesthetic is just oh, so good. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Okay. Right. Ancient magic. Ancient yes. magic. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Okay. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. So. Ah, there's the path down below. Okay. Just a figure and I trap. That's super cool. I like that. Christopher and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins. That we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. And then it like drops down. Oh, so good. 
That's really cool. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. Mm, yeah. But magic is no different than any power. What really That's matters true, is actually. the one who wields it. No, he's 100%. No, he's got a point. 100%. But at the same token, generally speaking... Ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of... Gee, enchantment. really, Professor? Someone wanted In to this case, literally... Path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Okay. Focus on the center. Yes, we finally get to cast a spell. Okay. Tap RT to perform base cast. Right. Great, so we're just gonna flip into it. Awesome. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick. Uh, by disabling camera relative targeting in settings okay so is there no sort of like lock on doesn't seem like it we'll have to we'll have to see Whee! although i will that was a bit rougher than i'd expected ah, okay so there is definitely some form of so pretty works improving with every cast Thank you, sir. Nice. I don't know if it's going to change, like, later on in the game, but I'm really happy that there's no sort of, like, you know, magic meter. Although, I think there is a stamina bar. It's going to ah, be so good. Up there. <laughs> that camera angle was great. Excuse me. Ah, oh, but the little sounds as well. This is just... Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. This loot! Oh my god, this glorious, glorious loot. Okay. We're Let's close get now, it's just ahead. Oh, damn. Okay. Steady yourself! Oh, that's... And this is so cool. But also, like, they, like, it's it's cool because they have really just done it so well in all of the three seconds that I've actually seen it. Um, but really, it's just it's just been done so so well. Almost there. Right. Okay. Is this the site of the ancient magic then? Mayhaps. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold up to toggle quest objective details. Cool. Very cool. Okay. So we need to go sort of that way, but we are going to have a look Professor, around. Huh? This statue. This may have been his home. Who is that? I feel like that's someone. Right? Perhaps not. Okay, what do we got here? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Oh, no wonder I got into mm. Hogwarts in fifth year. Perhaps cool. our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay, so... What's that? That looks like astrology. I'm so smart. I should have been accepted to Hogwarts, not this character. We need to go there, but are we supposed to, to just like break this wall? Oh. Uh, let's let's explore a little, bit, shall we? So there's path there that I'm assuming leads to death at some point. Uh, ah, yes, stairs. Very very good, very good. Indeed. 
Yes, we are going to be Zeldering the whole time and we're going to break it apart. That Let's enchanted see. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? He says again, when was the first time did I miss this? Okay. What's this? Professor Fig. Oh, right. Okay. So, that's cool. Okay, so that's not doing anything yet. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Is it just me, or does this voice sound suspiciously like Daniel Radcliffe? Like, I know it's it's, it's audibly different, but it, it just sounds very similar. What in Merlin's name? Who knows? Godric's heart. Where yeah. are we? It's a, I don't believe it. port key, but it was a port wall. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. Look at this. What? That is just unreal. Yeah, we are going to fanboy just a little bit. Just a smidge. So we had home affairs. <coughs> For my non-South African friends, home affairs it's like a it's sort of like where you pick up your passports and identity documents in South Africa. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so you could really do with a many. <laughs> To Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Oh, Gringotts looks very different. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. Key. The key? Mm hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I'm getting. Stay close. Similar vibes to a certain franchise that started in a very similar way. I was meant to word that very much more eloquently, but the words After escape me. You. Because my brain is made of the dumb. That's also currently short circuiting because we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> That's over. Oh. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The okay. rooms you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are private, but that, that makes sense. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Oh. With wealth or power or both. A what? It's a security measure. Yes, Experience we know. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded. I was going to say, if it's vault number 12. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. How did they know how Settling, deep to go? We have quite a distance to go. Wouldn't it have made more sense to have the newer vaults down at the bottom? me vault number vault so well. angry momentous day <laughs> hmm. on your way uh, okay 
Okay. That armband doesn't look like official uniform. Okay, then. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Suspicion. Oh, damn. It's like a, literally like a private vault. I know they're all private Here vaults, but I mean, like there's no other vaults around it. That's super cool. Pretty what sure this is where we learned to become the Batman. Accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Okay. Curious that he said a goblin. Thank you for your help. Very cool. Very cool. What goblin sus? I have a one, sir. Just so you know. What are you, so you looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Oof. Good luck. I mean, we Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Awesome. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. Okay, steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Right. Okay, interesting. Yeek! Awesome! I am magic. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and spell? try again. Cool. Nice. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... Come on, buddy. I do, Professor. Yeah. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. I love this dialogue. Lead the dialogue. It's so great. I mean, it's so corny, but it's so great. Love it. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? My, I my do. Man's. Revelio. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Nope. No siree, we have tried that and it didn't work. Revelio. We're just gonna spam Revelio. Although we could learn Lumos. You know, just saying. So we do have a professor. I wonder if it's worth like I see something. Oh, there we go. Head. Okay. What is it? That glow again. Right. But on the floor. I'm saying the glow. Determine how to proceed. Interesting. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Okay. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. 
It is. Except the reflection's still there. Yeah, I was gonna say. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Gee. Only someone else had thought of that. Okay. We're gonna do this again. We are learning spells. Or oh, we are magic. Yes. I am a wizarding. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Do we get to learn Lumos Maximus though? That's what I want. So hold RT and tap Y to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Oh, very cool. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It's because it you have the light. The so. light. Okay. Are you gonna attack me? This has got to be one of the coolest opening sequences to a game that I have played in a long time. Rude, sir. I mean, he badass. Okay, so I simply need to cast. Oh, hello. Ow. Okay, okay, cool. Although I do think my main job is to just protect. Okay, okay, I saw a little symbol pop up. Right, we got this, we got this. Oh. Awesome. Great stuff, yes. We are learning. I am magic. It seems to be a counter attack spell that we do is stupefy. Stay close, Rebellion. I mean I'm right here, so. Ooh, chest! Oh, Gibbs! Gibbs loot! Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where okay. am I supposed to go? Uh, uh, What's happening? I'm not entirely sure. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be like a little guidance system. Okay. Revelio. Okay. Have we got Please. any other... Uh, oh, that's where they're leading me. I yeah, no, we're, we're gonna get the chest first because loot. Loot reasons. Okay. Right. Activate the statues. Okay. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my cool. own this time. So we've got him. Oh, hang on. We can line all of them up in the set. There we go. See, it's about mats. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Doom, doom. Oh, so good. oh, I forgot about protecting myself. I heard others. Uh, hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefied counter attack. Okay, so holding Y during Protego. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. So let's just have a see at this video again. Look okay. here. So as I'm attacking. So. Okay. Cool. I think we've got it. But we just need to hold Protego. Right. Okay. Stupid spot. God, I'm suave. Stupid 
see, so the Protego only lasts for like a couple seconds. Which is quite cool because it means that you still have to time your defenses really well. I hear something. Leave me. Rebellion. Okay. Lumos. Alright. Yes. We need the sprint. Ooh. What are you, sir? Rebellion. Okay. Uh, investigate. Oh my word, this is so cool. All of this is just so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Through the veil! Although we should be careful of doing that because the last time Sirius did that. They Ooh, chests. He um He basically crossed over into the nether Rebellion. forever box. Uh cool. Awesome. Chests. I like it. I like it. I like that there's a good little bit of loot to be had. Is this a Ponceive? It looks pretty sus though, so maybe we shouldn't touch with that. Or we could just grab it. Yeet. Deal with the consequences, right? Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I think that's basically I my motto at this point is, how did I? I and then insert the thing here. Basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Okay, for pensive. Ponceive, either way. I like Ponceive, it sounds fancier. Cool, we're just gonna go exploring other memories, are we? Follow my lead. So I'm saying, are we just genuinely gonna jump into other people's memories? I love how we're just like we have no idea what's happening, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do the things. Yeah, I mean we're here now, right? So could these be the fun? No, Charles Rock. Okay. Well Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability okay. to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with sure. knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Because we've learned basics to Balkov? Interesting. Maybe the test is yet to come. That's also true. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, Ancient sir. magic. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be mm. precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Huh. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. Bro, I will kill you. <coughs> uh, 
Sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't help. There we go. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I was in the middle I'm of casting a Vardy Kedavra. Anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Ooh. Tough little guy, ain't he? No, not a beloved professor of Hogwarts! <laughs> Get wrecked, bro! I mean, your targeting's a wee bit off there, Golem, but... Now's a good time to get out. Professor. I know my out. Professor. Yes, that. If you would be so kind. so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic Whoa! where are we <laughs> it can't be it but it is those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here Perhaps back on the road to Hog We have a sorting ceremony. I was going to say. Lock. I have a school to attend, sir. Never thought I'd say that with such exuberance. so cool oh my gosh that's so cool Hogwarts legacy oh. man the sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George mm. and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony Heavy, heavy Dumbledore vibes going on. Come on, speak, speak. Okay, or, or don't speak. That's also fine. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Mm. Prepare yourself to meet the oh my gosh. master. Fig, nice of you to join us. <laughs> oh, it's great. The sorting ceremony is over. There were 
complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're for those who are not aware, Professor Black is voiced by none other than Simon Pegg. And this is amazing. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. If you would like a visual representation of Simon Pegg, I ask you to please acquaint yourself with movies such as Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and... I mean, there's just so many others that he's... But also, Professor you would know him from Paul, probably. We've one more to be with uh, Seth Rogen and... Welcome. Ah, Nick. You're just in time. Forget his surname. Have a seat. This is going to be interesting. Will I be sorted into Gryffindor? Because that is technically my house, according to... Uh, Wizarding World. Harry Potter fan club. Or... Ah. Uh. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here what? with what? preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to exp Yeah, I gotta go for I'm explore. looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart, exceptionally okay. daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. So that's how it does like the auto sorting for you, essentially. Yeah, sorting has to take a choice into account when sorting you into a house, very much like Ari. Gryffindor house known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. So we can actually just choose a different house. Okay, so Slytherin house obviously known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Known for patience, royalty, and hard work. Known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. So, here comes the big reveal. The idea I had for my character was that I was going to be... Essentially... The antithesis to the house's main premise. Where Gryffindor believes in daring, bravery, and chivalry, I was going to be most unchivalrous, cowardly, and non-daring whatsoever. Um, the same with Hufflepuff, I could be impatient, disloyal, and a slob, really. Slytherin, I mean, that kind of speaks for itself. Slytherins are actually kind of cunning and intelligent. Kind of, you know, I mean, just not ambitious, really. Kind of like a Crab and Goyle type of character. Uh, or Ravenclaw, we could be a Stooges level character, where we're just super dumb. But we solve all our problems with violence. Um, I... Do you know what? I... I I don't want to choose Gryffindor because not only is it just a very basic bitch answer, but I also feel like, to be fair, daring, bravery, and chivalry, not really something I exemplify, to be very honest. Because it's not that I'm non-chivalrous and cowardly, but, I mean, we don't live, really live in the 1800s, do we? So, there's that. Um, but I am creative and witty, sort of, somewhat. So... I think I'm going to go with my original idea, which was basically to have a dance level character in Ravenclaw. Um, just for the giggles, really. And you've already S mined. Quick to learn. Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely not the intelligence, so that's for sure, at least. Uh, but yeah, we're basically going to be really stupid. Uh, but still creative and a bit witty. But because you can't really be witty and dumb. So there is that. But no, I think we'll go... Mm, ooh. This is a tougher choice than I thought. Uh, it's either between Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw in, in a while. See, but I... You know what? We're, this is... And that's it. Already no. Quick I've, to learn. Yeah, we've made our mind up. We're doing Ravenclaw. Fantastic. Love it. This is happening. You belong in Ravenclaw! Hillary! That's cool. That's really cool. I like that.
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Really? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Oh, do I know? I said many. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. But he is super dapper though. Like that aesthetic, that that suit is just oh. Quite an entrance. It's lovely it's to Professor Weasley. And Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Are you rude? I shall see to it, sir. Please do not interrupt her. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I wasn't far off the well, voice. Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I'm assuming obviously she was Griffin. Because Weasley. You know. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Definitely Gryffindor. Okay, this is cool. I like riddles. Lived longer. The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have so been. So a ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. Yeah, because a you poltergeist a is like a tomorrow, physical manifestation of negative spiritual boss. energy, right? Thank you, Professor. Weasley. So therefore, You're a welcome. ghost would be that I of a dead person, which means they live longer. Cool. Sleep awesome. well. I know. I belong in Ravenclaw. Great job. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's see. Let's grab a. Can we grab a screenshot? No. Okay. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Looks All like right. Common. Better head to the common room. Better head to the common room. We must not disappoint our new friends. Oh. Uh, okay, guys, this is where we're going to leave it for part one. Um, I'm I'm so excited. I'm super giddy. I'm sure you guys can can tell. Like, I, I, I've just had an absolute blast in this first episode. Hope you guys have as well um make sure to keep an eye out on the channel we are gonna hopefully upload these very fast um between this and dead space that we're still running through as well um we probably looking at like a sort of an everyday schedule type of thing which i'm really excited for i'm, I'm really i'm super keen to um to to just explore this game as much as i possibly can i know that there is quite a lot of content to get through um there's quite a lot of like side missions and, and stuff like that and we'll we'll see how it goes but um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really would appreciate it and while you're there why not consider dropping a like if you enjoyed this video and consider hitting the subscribe button as well it helps out the channel and it also helps huge ass here um with his with confidence in his sorting ceremony decision um but until next time guys cheers